Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today we will guide you on how to use MSSQL Activity Monitor to find the most expensive query. In this video tutorial, we will see how to log in into your MSSQL server through SQL Server Management Studio. Second one is how to check the status of the process in the SQL Server Management Studio. Third one is how to find the most expensive queries from SQL Server Management Studio. Before we begin the tutorial have a quick look at our contact details for your hosting requirements. You can visit our website at www.accuwebhosting.com. You can raise a chat from the chat option available on our website. You can also contact us on this number. You can send us an email at sales at accuwebhosting.com. Thanks you. Let's begin the tutorial. First we will see how to log in into your MSSQL server through SQL Server Management Studio. For that, you have to log in into your Windows Server with Administrator User. Here we have used Windows Server 2012 as a demo. Click on the Windows button located on the status bar. After then click on the search option. Type SQL Server Management Studio in the search field. Once you type in it, you will see SQL Server Management Studio option. Please be informed that here we have used SQL Server Management Studio 17 as an example. Click on it to open SQL Server Management Studio. It may take a few minutes to open it. In the Server Type field, select Database Engine from the drop-down list. In the Server Name field, enter the IP address of your MS SQL Server, coma port number. In the Authentication field, select SQL Server Authentication from the drop-down list. In the Login field, type SA. In the Password field, enter the password of the SA user. You can collect the password of the SA user from your client area. Click on the Connect button to log in in your SQL Server database. Congratulations! You are logged into your MS SQL Server database. Let's see how to check the status of the processes in the SQL Server Management Studio. Click on the Activity Monitor icon. Activity Monitor tells you what the current and recent activities are in the SQL Server instance. Here you can see the graphs for processor times, waiting tasks and batch requests. To check the status of the process, click on the Processes option. Here you can see all the processes running in your instance and having a deeper look for how many processes are waiting, blocking or blocked. This way you can get an idea if you have queries running slow because of any specific wait or if the queries taking time are being blocked by other processes. Let's see how to find the most expensive queries from SQL Server Management Studio. You can check most expensive queries of the MS SQL Server database from the Recent Expensive Queries option. The queries with highest resource usage and maximum time execution queries are displayed in Recent Expensive Queries option. Click on it to see queries which consume more resources. Mouse over to the Query column to read the complete query. You need to optimize the query as much as possible to reduce the execution time and resource usage. You can directly edit the query in a text editor. Right-click the query and click on Edit Query Text. Once you click on the Edit Query Text, one window will be open. From this window, you can edit query text. 
The CPU MS per second column shows how much processor time is used by query since the last compilation. It's the ratio of processor time used by the query per second. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We've seen how to log in into your MS SQL server through Management Studio. Second one is how to check the status of the process in the SQL Server Management Studio. Third one is how to find the most expensive queries from SQL Server Management Studio. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.